Why? Mike Skinner and Ricky Craven got together going in turn number three. It forced Ricky Craven way up the racetrack. He's going to lose a number of positions. White flag flies. It is Ted Musgrave, Dennis Setzer, Jimmy Spencer, and the team ASC Dodge makes his way up into third. Fourth is Mike Skinner, and rounding out the top five is Rick Crawford. Ricky Craven has fallen all the way back into the 10th position. What a horrible break. But let's take nothing away from Ted Musgrave. What a dominating performance. Unbelievable performance for Ted Musgrave today. He's led all but two laps as he comes out of turn number four. He will see the checkered flag and become the first ever repeat winner at Gateway. Setzer holding on for his second place finish. Jimmy Spencer with a great run makes it all the way up into third. Mike Skinner holds on for fourth. Rick Crawford rounding out the top five. A first and a third for Alter Motorsports. What a great job by this one team. Now Alter Motorsports is tied again with Jack Roush for all-time wins in the series. A lot of things took place with that win for Ted Musgrave. He became the sixth driver in the history of the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series to go over the three million dollar mark and it looks like a few a few conversations taking place there between Mike Skinner and Ricky Craven. Well Ricky Craven is not happy how much with how Mike Skinner took over that third position. They drove down side by side in the turn number three. Mike Skinner essentially lost control had to chase his truck up the hill. When he did Ricky Craven was there. Slid him up the hill and really cost Ricky Craven five or six positions anyway. Ted Musgrave is the 2005 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series yeah. champion. It's official this time. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're going to have to have a recount. No hanging chads here. What a sigh of relief. The Ultra Motorsports team must be breathing right now, especially Jim Smith. Here's a gentleman who pioneered this very sport, truck racing in NASCAR, and Jim Smith gets his first championship in this series. Ray? Well, thank you, Rick. You know, two years ago, you thought you had one. You said it was a great day, and they kind of took it away from you. But I'll guarantee you something, today it's yours. Well, I'm still holding my breath until <laughs> I get that trophy, but what can I say? Cody, Melissa, it's a great day. It's been a long road, hasn't it? It sure has, and it was an ugly, ugly race for us, but you know, we did what we had to do. We just kept that 46 with us all day. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Jim Smith is a champion in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Couldn't happen to a more deserving guy. As, as Ray mentioned, one of the founders of this series had an idea 13, 14 years ago about NASCAR racing trucks, and, and here we are today. It's been a long time. Jim Smith congratulating his team. Todd Bodine celebrating three wins in a row. And this being his fifth win of 2005. Catches the checkered flag. He's had a lot of practice doing that. He missed it a couple races ago, but he caught it last week and he caught it this week. Todd Bodine will celebrate the win. Ted Musgrave will celebrate the championship. Gene Need reaching in there to congratulate Ted Musgrave. What a, what a, there's Jim Smith. What a great job this team has done this year. They may have only won one race, but they were very competitive week in, week out. And this team has won a lot of races over the years. Nothing to be ashamed of here. Great, great championship. That right there is a half turn. That's the way we used to do it right there, boys. Just pile on. We're going to go for a little ride. <laughs> championship team. Yeah. We actually are able to ride along with the championship team. Well, it seemed like a good idea. <laughs> oh, it looked cool. <laughs> That's a good idea for a minute. Jim, Jim, Jim says, I ain't getting off. <laughs> this is my truck. I just won the championship. I'm riding right here. I'm right here, boys. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Ted Musgrave will now make his way to the championship victory lane as Todd Bodine makes his way to the race victory lane. It's been a long time for Ted Musgrave as well in the NASCAR world. Just think about it. He's the oldest champion at 49. And guess what, guys? Finally, the number one 
has won a championship in NASCAR. First time ever. First time. Speed Channel's coverage of the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series post-race show is presented by Craftsman. The Ultra Motorsports team with Ted Musgrave and owner Jim Smith have now made it to the championship stage. And let's go down to Ray Dunlap. Well, thank you, Rick. 34 years ago in seven months, Ted Musgrave got behind the wheel for the very first time at Waukegan, Illinois. And today, he will climb out of his Mopar Dodge. And finally, after all that time of trying, he is a NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion. He's going to the top. Three years in a row, this man has finished third in the points. It has been a long battle. Congratulations, you did what you had to do today, and it all paid off. Yeah, actually, uh, you know, we keep saying we're going to run hard, but all I wanted to do was just fill Dennis's mirror for the past couple of weeks, and, uh, you know, we just kind of just rode around back there. We had a really good truck, but in practice we did. We just needed to keep him in sight. I know if I was up near the top five or top eight, you see what happened on the backstretch. I knew that could be happening, so I uh, wasn't going to let this one get away no matter what. A couple of close calls there, and I think the fact that you were laying back a little bit gave you the room to have the cushion you needed. Exactly. Uh, sometimes it could be brave and try to go out for it and uh, get caught up in a wreck like that. So uh, you, you take your lumps. You know, you say, okay, you, you, you didn't win, you didn't run a top ten, but I had something else in mind. Like I say, the big picture, and all I want to do today is, like I said, put the frame around that picture, and that's what we did. Jim Smith told me he's going to have a great big party. How will Ted Musgrave finally celebrate a championship? Get on my motorcycle, ride back to my house in Daytona, and uh, sit around for a while, have Thanksgiving. Uh, let these guys party. I'm not a drinker or a partier. They deserve it. Uh, I'm just going to get back and get ready for uh, next year. All right, congratulations. That is Ted Musgrave, and he is a NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion. Ted Musgrave will make his way up to the stage and join NASCAR's president, Mike Helton, congratulating Jim Smith now. Today's Mobile One Move of the Race is brought to you by High Endurance Oils from Mobile, the official motor oil of NASCAR. And this is the move of the race as Ted Musgrave avoids a problem that happens just in front of him. Slipping to the inside of the racetrack. They're crashing everywhere, and he and Dennis both right there together. And that's what, that's what he said. That's what we said when the race started. If they keep their eyeball on one another, Ted can't lose. Ted Musgrave avoids problems today, and because of that, he will receive the trophy. That's coming up next. Speed Channel's coverage of the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series post-race show is brought to you by Craftsman, celebrating 10 years tough the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. First championship has been settled on championship weekend in Miami. We go back down to the stage and Ray Dunlap. Well, thank you, Rick. All the hard work is done right now, and now we get to have a little bit of fun. And for that, I would like to introduce the president of NASCAR. Here's Mr. Mike Helton. Thank you, Ray. On behalf of all of NASCAR, Jimmy, I couldn't imagine a better set of champions this year than you and Ted Musgrave, as Craftsman all year long has been talking about 10 tough years. They don't know what it meant, does it? No, they sure don't, Mike. It's uh, Anybody that's racing out here today knows how tough this series is. And I'm so proud that, to see what I saw today in the race we had. And, to give Ted his first major championship means so much to me and everybody at Ultra Motorsports. Thank you, Jimmy and Ted. Congratulations. We're looking forward to having you serve as our champion and the whole number one Dodge Jimmy Smith team. Congratulations, all of you. Thank you very much, Mike. I want to move over here for the trophy presentation. This is Mr. Scott Howard. He is the manager of sponsorship and sales promotion from Sears. Ted, there's a reason why your truck is number one. On behalf of the thousands of people across America who make it sell Craftsman Tools, congratulations on your first NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Championship. Thank you very much. Like I say, it's been a long, long time. And uh, to do this for Jimmy Smith and all these guys up here on the stage, you know, it takes everybody. You know, we're holding the trophy, but uh, if it wasn't for these guys, you know, I I'd probably be flipping hamburgers somewhere. So oh, my hat's off to everybody that works so hard. And, and everybody in the series that races so well, it's a fun series to run in. And everybody comes in, just, just loves this deal. And it's going to grow by leaps and bounds here. A couple of years ago, when you lost this title in 2003, you said, no more Mr. Nice Guy. It was going to be a new Ted Gut Musgrave. I think you were just kidding us that day. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just got to pull the wool over their eyes a little bit, much like we did for the last couple of weeks. Uh, we had a better truck, like I say, but I just had to just stay around Dennis and uh, kind of rattle some cages and stuff like that. But uh, the older you get, the smarter you get, I think. So, um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm the oldest champion, though, ain't I? Oh, my gosh. But I'm going to come back next year and try to make it older yet. All right. We look forward to that. His wife, Debbie, is here on the stage with him. His crew chief, Gene Need, spotter Eddie Threpp. The whole crew is here to celebrate with Ted Musgrave and a great day at Homestead. 
Scott Howard made the comment, and we, we see actually Dennis Setzer there, second in the points, congratulating that team. But Scott Howard really emphasized the word first when he introduced Ted Musgrave as far as our champion, this being his first NASCAR Craftsman Chuck Series championship. And, and we expect big things out of Ted Musgrave even in next year. The Toyota Spotlight lets us take a closer look at where today's field of Toyota Tundras finished. And obviously out in front, Todd Bodine with another strong run. Toyota had a great run. Top three finishes for the top five. Bill Luster getting another top five. Great run.